Welcome back to Ask Arna. Last week, I had the wonderful opportunity to visit one of my very special places in the world. And why is it so special? Well, it's well known for its energy vortexes. The place is Sedona. And I have to tell you that not only are these vortexes just beautiful, beautiful to look at, but they have an incredible healing effect just being in them. And if you didn't know this, there are actually male vortexes and female ones. Well, I had the opportunity to visit a beautiful vortex with lots of healing feminine energy. Vortexes are energies they're energies that are very gentle and they're energies that align with us. In other words, these energies are very graceful. So opportunity is always here for growth. And at the same time, if one isn't open to these energies, that's honored. When I'm standing here, in this vortex of Cathedral Rock, I feel opportunity here. Pure opportunity. An opportunity to open my heart, to cleanse, to let go, to free myself. Your energy, specifically the heart energy, the electromagnetic fields of the heart, are much like the electromagnetic fields of an energy site. It's the same stuff. Um, to give you an idea of how important the energy is, NASA creates it for the astronauts synthetically through what's called a Schumann simulator, the identical energies that you have in these energy sites. That energy is no different than your own heart energy. The vibration is 7.8. Electric and magnetic fields. Magnetic fields assist the body in its healing process. The cells respond to magnetic fields. G. Direct from Earth Mother. Our mind is constantly wandering. Here is an inspirational quote to help cure the wandering mind. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. This is my sacred space. What you see here, I call this my blessing garden. I have a beautiful uh, rock called Dream, and my favorite orchids, and my one of my favorite symbols is the hummingbird, because the hummingbird represents truth. I'll tell you a little story about hummingbirds. Every time I do a session, I have a big window, and guess what happens? A hummingbird comes up right behind the window any time a truth is spoken, it literally taps the window. So hummingbirds are a wonderful symbol. That symbol for me brings me a lot of peace, along with bamboo. That's another wonderful symbol for me. Bamboo has a lot of meaning in different cultures, prosperity and other meanings. And I love my orchids. I also love color. Color really helps to create a very sacred space. And depending on the colors that you pick, and what you're going to see here, this garden that I created is I really use very high vibration colors. I use purple and blue and even white that looks like crystals. Now, what I did here is these aren't stones, these are just colored pieces of glass. And they are not expensive, I actually got them in 
basically um, a store that sells items for landscaping. Very easy to get, all different colors, because color is so important. And I'm so glad to share this with you today. And I think it's very important now that I've shared my sacred space with you. In my next posting, I'm gonna tell you what you can do to raise the vibration of your sacred space.